Now, whenever we wanted to store time, up until now, you've probably been using the Unix timestamp. So if we just echo time, go to our browser, hit refresh, this is a Unix timestamp. Now, obviously, if we want to accept uh, date of birth in our user registration, for example, if the user is maybe 50 years old, then they won't be able to input their date of birth because the their date of birth was obviously before 1970. So, how do we remedy this? Well, we use PHP's date time. So, if we set DT to new date time and we echo DT format Y, which means echo the year, just to demonstrate that this is working, refresh, we get 2014, which is the year that this video was recorded. So, if we replace this with something like day, month, year, refresh, we get first of the first of the fifth of 2014, which is today's date. We can also output uh, the hours and the minutes and even the seconds. This is just PHP date format, which you can look up in the manual. So just to demonstrate that this allows dates before the before 1970, I'm going to uncomment this actually. I'm going to add a parameter. And I'm just going to say 1st of May 1940, 1940. So if we go to our browser and refresh, we get the 1st of May 1940, which is perfect. That's what we just entered in our constructor. And the reason that we're not getting, uh, a, well, this is a valid time. The reason that we're getting midnight here is because we didn't add a time. We were to enter, for example, 11 p.m., then we'd get 11 p.m. 